So y'all know that home renovation DIY guy on YouTube, Jeff, the uh, bald DIYer? Well, for every 99 things he's right about, he's wrong about one. How do I tie these? This is my response video to Jeff from the Home Renovision DIY channel. If you're watching this video and you're a DIYer, you've most likely seen his content out there on YouTube. Very resourceful, incredible stuff. He's probably saved me thousands of dollars by enabling me to do some of these projects myself. However, he just came out with a video that is about this grout right here, the Ultra Color FA Grout by MapHive. You usually find it at Lowe's. I was planning on grouting this shower a week ago, right? And right after I bought this grout, his video pops up on my feed and I see it and it says, do not use this. Warning, do not use this grout if you are a DIYer and you have no experience with doing grout work on tile. And so obviously I click on it because I'm just about to go and grout with that same product he's saying not to use. So if you watch that video, he is very firm on not using this product, especially if you're newer at tiling like I am. So I'm like, oh my gosh, why, why, what, what's gonna happen? So right out the gate, he's going into the dry time on this and he talks about how it's gonna stain your tile. And the only way to fix it is to tear it all out and start over again. I let it sit on the tile too long. What do I do? And the answer is, tear your walls off and start over, because <laughs> you're done. Now, if you've done any tile work, I don't care if it's a backsplash, I don't care if it's a floor or a full-blown shower like this, tile work is miserable, especially if you're new at it. It's my least favorite project to do out of all of them, and I still have two more bathrooms to do after this. By the way, all of this is for a cabin flip. Gotta do my pitch, right? It's for a cabin flip in the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. Head over to my channel so you can see all of the content around it. I'm doing 100% of it by myself and with a few family members. So head over there and subscribe. Check out that content. It's pretty great. Anyway, back to this stuff. So his complaint was a dry time with it mainly, right? So he talks about doing one wall at a time if you're going to do it yourself, which is okay. I get that. But then he dives into you need a helper. And again, he's very firm. You need a helper. It's gonna be miserable if it dries, you're done. One thing he completely misses on here, and he says he's gonna read the directions for you because he knows that most people don't read directions, which is great. I think that's one of the best parts about that video is his point on reading the instructions on your products. And I know a lot of you guys out there, you're not reading the instructions, so I'm gonna read it for you. This says 15 to 30 minutes of dry time before you wipe it off your walls. In his video, he says you need to apply it and wipe it within 15 minutes, which is incorrect. If you wait more than 15 minutes before you wash this off and work it, it is going to be harder than the stone that you put on the wall, okay? And you're in deep trouble. So when I was doing this wall here, yes, I've already done half of my bathroom now, half of my shower. When I did this wall here, after I applied it, I was, my brain was going off like, oh, I need to wipe it, I need to clean it. And then you would have streaks because I'm using dark gray charcoal grout. So I, I would wipe it too early and it would leave gray streaks going down. And so this whole time I'm like, it's making more work than it should have been because I watched that video. This is the stuff for the beginner. This is for people who've got a team working or have got a lot of experience. Now watching that video has actually created more work for me than if I had not watched it at all because he says you need to apply it and take it off within 15 minutes. The bag says let it dry for 15 to 30 minutes before wiping it off. So you have tons of playtime here to really do a whole shower, but at least a few walls, even if you're by yourself. And if you're gonna use it, you've gotta have a helper. So I did this wall, I wiped it, I cleaned it with some of these little rags here. And then I still had a bucket of grout that was still good to go. And I'm like sitting around like, what do I do now? And so then I did this wall. As you can see, this is now the second wall that I've done with the same bucket, the same mix. It's still good. It hasn't stained anything here. I'm being patient with it. So I was able to do both of these walls without any experience and with a bunch of time in between to where I was just kind of like, should I go for it? Should I not? I could have easily done all three of these walls. 
I think he added more confusion in my head than had he not said anything at all. But the one takeaway from that video is read the instructions. By the way, I love Jeff. Again, like I said, he has saved me so much money. I'm still gonna continue to watch him. But I just had to say something about that video because it really stuck with me for about a week now. Even today, I did not wanna do this. I didn't start until noon. It's kind of sitting around, slowly drinking coffee and just building up my self-esteem, I guess. And I, I saw it everywhere in his comments on that video. People are like, thank you, I just bought this grout. I was just about to do this. You saved me, you saved me. And it's, uh, huh? I mean, and it's like, it's actually not that bad. Anyway, Jeff, if you see this, I do love you. I love your content. I know you're probably too busy with your 1.5 million subscribers, but if you do come across this, thank you for everything that you do. I do wish the title of your video and the way you worded it was a little bit different. You could have saved me a week and a lot of brain mess. That was just the one video I had to call out on the hundreds of videos you probably have, but it needs to be said. You should not be scared of this product. It's not that bad. Now I still have this last back wall here to do. So let's check it out together. I'll show you the process. If you are gonna use this stuff, I would recommend using three buckets of water here just so you can consistently keep wiping it off with some fresh water. And especially when you're using dark grout against white tile. I wanted to point out one thing. If you see any consistencies in my grout lines, it's because of my poor tile job. Like I said, I hate tiling and less about the grout itself. I personally think it's a much better grout. but it'll be the end of your project if you're working alone and you don't have enough experience. So I don't know what all the fear was about, but it's working out. 